Hi, I'm Ben Stiller. Welcome to the show. I guess you're wondering who I am and what the show's about. Well, I don't know. I've never really had a show before. It's my first time. It's, it's a comedy thing. You know, we do lots of little funny films, hopefully funny. I don't know, we gotta start it up, so I don't know. Anybody have any ideas on how to start the show? Anybody have anything that... I, I don't... Bruce? It's, it's not an Bruce, idea. Bruce, one of the writers. Yeah, it's not an idea so much as a concept. Okay. One of the writers comes up to you at the beginning and there's an exchange and something, you know, funny happens and, you know, I can work this out. I mean, I don't, I don't have the exact beats. You mean kind of like what you're doing right now with me, right here? It's sort of a humorous variation. Okay. I would work on it some more. If, if, would... if you think there's something there... I okay, can... well, go back and work on it I'll, some more. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll work on this. See, look I, at I like that. It. We just started out already. Something almost funny happened, so. Anybody else? Any ideas on how to start? It's Ben Stiller's Rockumentary. You too, the early years. It was very difficult for us when we were starting out. We had this horrible old manager who didn't understand what we were trying to do with our music. I loved those boys like they were my own sons. They came to me, you know. Oh, yeah. Mr. Kincaid used to drive us about in this ramshackled old multicolored school bus, taking us from gig to gig, screaming about how we were going to make it big in show business. Yeah, I was full of ideas back then. He wanted to get a little girl to play tambourine with us, but we nixed that one. With Bono, it was always about the message. So I gave him a message. If Joel Wasserstein doesn't have fun at his bar mitzvah, you're not getting paid. Comprende? <laughs> Baruch atah Hashem, Eloheinu melech haolam, Asher natan lanu, Torah met. Yeah. Thank you. Well, I hope you're all having a good time here at Joel's Bar Mitzvah. We're all real proud of him. Look at him, the very vision of manhood. And how about Leo Krupnik, who made that great gefilte fish sculpture, huh? Everybody taste the gefilte fish sculpture, it's great. Okay, Joel, get up here. Come on up here, Joel. And I hope everybody's ready to dance the horror and the hokey pokey soon. I don't want to see anybody sitting. Let's give him a hand, Joel. Yeah, today Joel is a man. Okay, Edge, play the blues. I'll tell you something else. I'm sick and tired of what's going on in Northern Ireland. Okay, so it wasn't Carnegie Hall. Hey, you gotta start somewhere. Hey, welcome back to the show, and I think we're going all right. Things are moving along pretty well. Here's Bruce, the head writer. Bruce, what do you think of the last piece, huh? Well, you know. You know. What? Who's, well, what? You know, who, who's to say what's funny? You know, it's, it's yeah, a little, a little, maybe too much music for my taste, but you know, uh -huh. I, I personally, I like it when we do movie stuff okay. better. Movie stuff? Okay. So, maybe right. it's me. I, okay. All right. Well, you know. we'll we'll go to uh, to some of the movie all right. stuff then. It worked. Uh, you know, parts were great. Thanks. I liked it. He used to write on Donnie Marie, so. Hey, hey. That's where but I was very unhappy from. there. Sam Bowden and his family have just come to New Essex, and so has his past. I'm scared. What's your connection with this guy? 
Who is he? I hardly even remember him. It was 20 years ago. What about the folks? Already read them. Eddie Munster in Cave Munster. What's he got on you? I was working for the network. He blames me for canceling the Munsters. Come out, come out, wherever you are! This guy threatened you? Yeah, but he's clever, so the law can't touch him. I'm just saying I found your pet's collar. I'm not saying I did anything. <clears throat> Look, if this is about work, I can get you an audition. Audition? <laughs> audition? <laughs> no, I don't think you really, really understand what we're talking about here. I don't know whether to look at him or go trick-or-treating. You cancel my show! We got this freaking psychopath tearing up our family and I don't know what to do about it! <laughs> my parents just don't understand and they're just, like, fighting all the time and... I know, I know. My daddy was a 10-foot Frankenstein freak with bolts in his neck. Hey, listen to this. It'll make you feel better. Up your nose with a rubber hose! Barbarino! You're not the drama teacher, are you? There will never be any connection between you and Eddie Munster! Maybe I'm the big bad wolf boss. The mail! The mazel! Austin Pfeffer Incorporated! You mind if I put my arm around you? We're gonna do it my way, counselor! Oh, I don't mind. Make all my dreams come true! Hey, this is Susie's, where we get our lunch sometimes. And that's Andy Dick, who's a regular cast member. No, I need extra sauerkraut. Andy, say hello. Hello. So right now, it's time for Video Diary, which is basically yeah. my I video diary. It's kind of like uh, this captain's log I've kept of my life. It's real excerpts from moments that I've uh, cherished. And tonight, I think we're going to show my uh, my prom night, my no. senior prom, which no. was a great night no, for no, me. No. What? Not the prom night. Yeah, no, it is. We're going to show the yeah, prom. No, I don't think it's the prom night. I mean, I know it's not the prom night. What are we showing? Does anybody know what we're showing? I don't showing? know, but it's not the prom night. Well, there's certain pieces we shouldn't show, so I just... No. Uh, video diary, May 11th, 1991. I feel really good. It's been eight days since she moved out, and I don't miss her anymore. I'm realizing this is an opportunity to be with myself. Uh, I ate today, which is really good. Um, I just think that... Hi. Beth. I didn't think you'd be here. I'll uh, come back another time. No, no, no. It's good to see you. Look, I, I miss you a lot. I feel like I screwed up. I feel like we should... This is him. He's small. Low center of gravity. He's probably quick and scrappy, though. Who is this? It's Harry, my self-defense instructor. He came by to help me move my stuff. I can't believe you're seeing somebody else. What are you doing? Nothing, and neither are you, my little friend. Now, respect the lady. Honey. It's all right, Harry. Take a step back, but then he does this for a living. Does, does what for a living? What? Stand on one foot? I don't get it. Hey. He's everything you said he was, a little bug that gets up inside your head. <sighs> come on, come little comité. Honey, who is this psycho? What are you even telling him about us? He happened to have helped me through a very rough time. He helped you through a rough time? Cut the cord, pal. What? You're poisoning her energy. Honey, you broke up with me. He helped you through a rough time. Where's the rough time for you, huh? Would you get out of here? You created this, pal. Why don't you just leave, all right? <laughs> this what is you your storm. Just leave. Hey, hey, hey! hey! How could you show that? What is that? I, I'm sorry, man. That's... No, that was the wrong piece. That really, wasn't that the right. Not have been shown. There's a whole <laughs> other part of that. No, it should not have been shown. There's that a whole other part of that tape that you didn't see. This is where I kicked the guy out. Was... I don't understand why that one. All right, can we just go that to commercial, so sad, please? Can we just go? To... We'll 
Wilson Garden Hose, available at the Home Shop. And now, back to Ben Stiller's rockumentary, You Too, The Early Years. Let me tell you something about Bono. The kid never stopped trying to make a buck. Worse than Danny Partridge. He was very materialistically oriented, you know, and that's not what U2 is about. You know, we're not about the glitz and the glamour, the money and the fame and the power and the touring and the money. Well, maybe we are about that a little bit, but... Well, I guess that is what we are about. He should have named that group Me Too, not U2. It's all about him. You people, you want me to be a god, and then you look at me, and then you say, I can't be a god, so I'm telling you to buzz off because I don't even know what a god is, you know? I just pull my pants down and go to the bathroom like anybody else, but 50,000 people want to watch, then hell, I'll do it for them, you know? Well, when all else fails, there's always product endorsements. <laughs> Lucky Clover cereal, an important part of this well-balanced breakfast. Now with a fun new surprise in each specially marked package. Did I eat too much? More than a lot. You give me one box, now it's all I got. One bowl and we got to share it, baby. Got to share it. It was a great idea, but nobody ever saw it. Well, after that, I quit the business. Hey, who needs you too? Let me tell you something. I think I love you sold more copies than let it be. After that, everything else is gravy. <laughs> You're earn right. Hey, we're here with Janine Garofalo. She's a regular cast member on the show. Hi. So, Janine, how'd you get the job on the show? You have an agent, one of those crazy Hollywood guys, huh? No, I just auditioned. Right, but you must have one of those Hollywood agents who's real slimy and slick, always with another crazy oh, he's idea. Really nice. He's like a kind of a Midwestern sensibility, corn-fed guy. Uh, but there are a lot of those really slick kind of you know guys who are full of it. Those agents who are just coming up with crazy ideas all the time, right? Are you, trying to, uh, are you trying to lead into some kind of a crazy Hollywood agent type sketch or something? No, no. Yeah, I'll be here all day. Okay. Whew. So, where were we? Oh, yeah, okay. Show's number one again. May I? Michael, we need to have a serious talk about our career direction. Quit. Quit what? Quit the show. What are you gonna do? Wait till you're down with Seinfeld in the middle of the pack? Nobody knows who you are? Come on, do it now. You're on top. You're number one. You can do anything you want. Let's go 180 on them. That's ridiculous. Of course it's ridiculous. That's what I'm saying. I'm so glad we're finally having this conversation. Let's get serious. Come on, you guys are too good for comedy. I mean, let's do a disease, all right? Tom, you get sick. Rosie, you come and take care of him. Rosie, you get sick. Tom takes care of you. I mean, I don't care. It works both ways. You both get sick, you die, you fall in love, whatever, right? You're the creative ones. You can figure it out. We're beginning to feel like maybe you're not the right agent for us. 
What? This is a bit, right? You doing a thing? I love it. All right, keep going. Come on. You haven't done crap for us. <laughs> all right, all right. Where's the punch? Oh, come on, Rosie. What, 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 come on, come on. What do you want? You're number one. Where else can we go? The show was number one when we hired you. Ooh, this weight loss thing is really playing with your heads, guys. I mean, really, is this the Slim Shake talking? Because if it is, let's go across the street, let's get a cheeseburger, fries, fried chicken, load it up and eat it, because nothing is worth this, all right? Let's face it, the diet is killing your careers. Fat is funny. You go back in time, Greeks, Romans, in the tub, rub-a-dub-lub, three men having fun. Michael, what about all the promises you made? You said you were going to get me in Dracula and Batman Returns. Just... Hang on. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I got Ice Cube's record company. Hang on. Yo, 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 what's up, G? Whoa, chill. No, it's whack. Yeah, I'll be at 05, then I got an empty nest tape. Okay. So, where were we? Nice to see them in such a good mood for a change. Ooh. Can I just say up, and then down, and then here, and I'm over here? Listen, I just want to talk to you about the... Uh... Want to do Hot Country Nights? No, I don't want to do Hot Country Nights. They can't afford you. I want to do the disease movie like we talked about, all right? All right, what disease are you going to do, huh? Because you do the wrong disease, it doesn't help anybody, right? Look, what if I just do an obsession? I don't even do a disease. Maybe one of those guys who can't stop washing their hands. No one's done that. Yeah. I could do that. Look, oh, oh, my hands are dirty. Oh, 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 I'm a dirty boy. I'm a dirty boy. Oh. <sighs> Oh, more water, towels, towels, more water, soap. I can't even go out. Huh? You know what? Don't do any more because it's too good. I'll make the call. Thank you. You got a Prozac? Hey, this is Bob Odenkirk. He's on the show. And, Hi. Uh, we've just been walking around the set here. It's a real uh, historic place. Yeah, it? this lot's had a lot of great shows on it. This is stage three. This is called the Hit Factory. The Hit Factory. Yeah, because they had a lot of hit shows in there, like George Burns and uh, I Love Lucy was done Really? Here. I Love Lucy was done Yeah, there? absolutely. Wow. And on the, on the left is stage seven, mm -hmm. and that's called the Sandbox, because they do game shows in there. Oh, OK. They do right. Jeopardy in there now. Really? Yeah. Jeopardy right so, here. Alex great. Trebek is probably right inside. He's probably in there. <laughs> yeah. So uh, what's our stage? Stage two, where we shoot our show. What's that yeah, called? Yeah, that, that's the morgue. That's where they shot the Dennis Miller show and Fish Police and Cop Rock. A lot of shows. I'm going to go over there now. The, the morgue? Is that, that's, that's probably, is that like a funny term? Is that? He's performed for presidents, heads of state. He loves to make people laugh almost as much as he loves his freedom. HBO presents The Last Stand of Yakov Smirnov. Thank you. You know, since Soviet Union broke up, people say I have nothing to joke about. Well, I say there's always Albania. <laughs> the Iron Curtain's lifted, and Yakov's on his own. In former Soviet Union used to be pretty bad. We had no freedom. Now, we have freedom. Pretty crazy, huh? What a sovereignty of independent states. <laughs> I love it. The Soviet Union's so gone, confusing. but Yakov is as funny as ever. Oh, a defector. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Yeah, things are pretty bad in China now, you know, which was like the former Soviet Union used to be, communist. Did I ever tell you I'm part Chinese on my mother's side? Whenever I go to visit relatives in China, we eat and then an hour later, we want freedom. <laughs> I had relatives in former Soviet Union who I could not visit. Now I can visit them. What a union of democratic republics. What an incredible sovereignty of states. What a confederacy of independent nations. <laughs> what a crazy independent nation of union of socialist republics that are together in a federation of craziness that is all free. <laughs> I love this country! <laughs> you stink! I want to go back to Soviet Union the way it was when we were all oppressed get and I would not... Stage. Why don't you get off stage? I can be funny even if Soviet Union is no more. 
I just want freedom to go away. I am cold. I am frightened. What will the new world order bring for Yakov? It's the last stand of Yakov Smirnov coming this fall. The Home by Wilson, available at the Home Shop. All right, well, that's it. That's the first show, and uh, we had a really good time. I hope you did, too, and we'll be seeing you next week, ben, okay? Uh, ben, listen, yeah. I, know, I know it's almost over. I yeah. just think in the future we've got to start thinking catchphrases. This is what I was telling you before. Catchphrases, you know, okay. Absolutely. Right. This is what, you know, like a what the, what the, hey, or uh, look out below. <laughs> what the, what the, hey? Yeah, well, I mean, you know. Look I, out I, below. I, well, I think this kind of thing. All right, why don't you, you, know, you, know, you know, oh, my gosh. You know, this sort of a thing. <laughs> you know, catchphrases. We'll put them on T-shirts. Right, we'll see get them you next week. Well, Thanks. think about it. Think. Think about this. Is he listening? I'm in the la 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 it's all about lateral motion now. Hey, look, I'm over here. No, no, wait, I went over here. Wait, I doubled back here. Why? I thought you were over here. Because I want to stay in the same place. That's what it's about. Mr. Grant! Oh! Maritalabo! Don't worry, he can't see you. <laughs> With someone in my mirror. That's a cut. Why are you laughing?